This is the $13 billion, 100,000 ton USS Gerald Ford. It was built to be the largest, most advanced, and most lethal aircraft carrier in history. And it is exactly that. But as we speak, China is preparing its greatest challenge yet. A challenge that could very well break the mighty supercarrier China wants to be able to destroy American satellites in space. And closer to home, massive aircraft carriers, such as the USS Ford, could be a likely target. Microwave weapons are perfect for that. Once amped up from truck size to aircraft carrier size, they could rip an electronic hole in aircraft carriers and satellites, reducing them to non-functioning lumps of metal. China recently launched a brand new massive aircraft carrier too, the Type 003 Fujian. At approximately 80,000 tons, it is the largest and also the most advanced conventionally powered aircraft carrier in history. Combine this carrier with the new microwave weapon, and American satellites quickly begin to look like an endangered species. But the United States won't go down without a fight. The US Navy has its metal grilling, weapon destroying laser weapons rapidly taking shape. And perhaps more importantly, it has an aircraft carrier ready to wield them, the USS Gerald Ford. So, in the near future, in the middle of the seas, and in the most consequential conflict of the century between China and the US, there could be a face-off between the Type 03 Fujin and the USS Gerald Ford. The Type 003 Fujian is China's top-of-the-shelf naval weapon today. The USS Gerald Ford is its American equivalent. They will now face each other to bring glory for their respective navies and respective nations. This battle will consider five main categories. Propulsion, AI, and automation, sensors and processing systems, the air wings, and their launch and arrest systems. Propulsion the Type 003 Fujian is the largest conventionally powered aircraft carrier in the world. The USS Gerald Ford, the largest nuclear-powered aircraft in the world, the exact engines on the Fujian are unknown since the carrier is quite new. And like any new flagship military equipment, not much information has been released about it just yet. But irrespective of the power provided by the propulsion system on the Fujian, it likely wouldn't compare favorably to a nuclear propulsion system, as a nuclear propulsion system is inherently more powerful than a conventional propulsion system. Two Bechtel A1B nuclear reactors, the most cutting-edge engines created for use on aircraft carriers, power the USE's Gerald Ford. Thanks to that, the carrier can run efficiently for up to 25 years at a go without refueling. And with a top speed of 30 knots, the USS Ford is capable of accessing every country on the planet to pay friendly visits to allies and wreak havoc on foes. Artificial Intelligence Artificial intelligence is a computing department that has stormed the world today, but not exactly taken the world by storm. Artificial intelligence has built upon itself over the past decades to become the powerful human-ish force it is today. Thanks to decades of experience on about a dozen different hulls in the Nimitz and Ford carrier classes, the US has been able to build its carrier-based artificial intelligence as artificial intelligence grew as a whole. This experience means the latest ship of the fleet, the USS Gerald Ford, is as intelligent as carrier-based intelligence can be. While China hasn't revealed much information on the systems powering the Fujian carrier, the chances of surpassing the systems on the American carrier are therefore slim. The USS Gerald Ford is packed with artificial intelligence components in various forms, from automated systems to unmanned vehicles, which have been making quite a name for themselves. These components make the massive ship significantly easier to operate than it would be without them. In fact, the USS Ford has a complement of 4,500 members, whereas that of a similarly sized Nimitz-class carrier is over 6,000. Thanks to a smaller-than-expected complement size, the USS Ford has more free internal space to hold more systems, weapons, and life enhancement features such as ergonomic spaces and gymnasiums, which ultimately results in a better quality of life for the crew members, an important factor, seeing as a carrier can only be agile as the crew that keeps her oiled up and ready for action. Sensors and Processing Systems both the Fujian and Ford feature the most advanced sensors and processing systems that their respective nations can provide. 
For the Fujin, this begins with an integrated power system, which is a massive upgrade over the systems used in older Chinese aircraft carriers. An integrated power system comes with more efficient power distribution for the Fujian, which enhances the performance of the ship's sensors and processing systems as a result. The ship's sensors and processing systems in question include a state-of-the-art EASA radar system that provides the Fujin with superior detection and tracking capabilities. Four S-band Dragon I type, three four six radars, and four smaller X-band ESA radar panels. Impressive as that is, the USS Ford found a way to better it. Unlike virtually every other aircraft carrier in the world, the Ford features a single system for both horizon and volume search in the form of the an spue three multifunction radar, for X and S-band active electronically scanned array. It remains the most advanced radar system from the US and fed by the most sensitive sensors. This radar system packs enough data to single-handedly handle surveillance, air traffic control, missile communications, and spot targets from miles away. Air Wing The air wing of the Type 003 Fujian is expected to be formidable. China has an impressive aircraft lineup and is one of only three nations to dare build fifth-generation fighters. The Fujian's air wing could feature the naval version of the Shenyang FC-31, known as the J-35. The J-35 is a fifth-generation fighter designed to rival America's fifth-generation F-35 Lightning II. In the Fujian's air wing could also be the Jian KJ-600, the Chinese equivalent of the American E-2D Hawkeye surveillance aircraft. In addition to these, the Fujian would likely host more fighters, rotary aircraft, and unmanned aerial vehicles than those mentioned. The exact count of these aircraft remains unknown for now. However, the Fujian is an 80,000-ton carrier, while the USS Ford weighs a hefty 100,000 tons, meaning the American is 20% larger. With that in mind, the USS Ford would likely host significantly more aircraft than the Fujian. The USS Ford's air wing could consist of up to 75 aircraft at a time. The air wing would be a cocktail of some of the most advanced aircraft the US has built, including the F-35 Lightning II fighter jet, the E-2D Hawkeye, the F-A-18 Hornet, the Super Hornet, the Growler, and so on. In addition to a larger and more versatile fleet, the individual American aircraft in the Ford's air wing are reportedly superior to their Chinese equivalents in the Fujin's air wing, some of which are apparently remakes of their American rivals. Electromagnetic Launch and Arrest Systems an electromagnetic launch system uses electromagnetism to rapidly accelerate aircraft to take off speeds so they can safely fly from an aircraft carrier instead of diving to visit the Titanic. The Fujian is the first Chinese carrier to feature electromagnetic launch systems, a massive upgrade over the ski ramps of the older carriers. USS Ford also features electromagnetic launch systems and in fact has four compared to the Fujian's three. With these electromagnetic systems, both carriers can launch the widest range of manned and unmanned aircraft, a massive plus over older systems which were limited in the types of aircraft they could launch. It is a similar situation with arrest systems, except that the arrest systems are used to bring carrier aircraft to a screeching halt on the deck, else they would either have to stay in the sky or visit other aircraft that went to visit the Titanic under sea. The U.S. has more experience with electromagnetic launch and arrest systems than any other nation, including China, and therefore likely wields the most advanced versions. Both aircraft carriers are incredibly advanced in their own rights. The USS Ford, however, appears to edge out the Fujin by a significant margin. Additional weaponry or other technologies on the Fujin could help close the gap or even push the Fujin in front. It's because of threats like these, threats of losing its unrivaled dominance on the seas, that the USS Ford can expect to be treated to multiple suites of upgrades, including one that would rival China's directed energy weapon capabilities and put laser on the USS Gerald Ford. Laser is a form of light, therefore it strikes at the speed of light, 180,000 miles per second. It is therefore almost impossible to evade, if not impossible. Laser is cost-effective too. A powerful laser shot from a laser weapon can cost the same as a cup of coffee. Then, there is the unlimited magazine. Laser weapons will continue firing for as long as they're connected to power sources. These benefits of laser weapons are truly remarkable. They would amplify the U.S. Navy's might on the seas, and depending on beam ratings, they can take anything from little drones to massive ships, and if the U.S. Navy had similar dreams as China, maybe even satellites in space. 
The U.S. Navy has been relentless in its pursuit for a battle-winning laser weapon. In 2014, one of its first laser weapons, the AN-SEQ-3 laser weapon system, was completed and ready for sea trials. The weapon, which fired 33 kilowatt laser beams, was tested twice from the forward deck of the amphibious transport ship. USA's Ponce. The results were encouraging, and research furthered on. This resulted in a second, stronger laser weapon, known as the High Energy Laser, with Integrated Optical Dazzler and Surveillance System, or Helios for short. Helios is a $105 million 60 kilowatt laser weapon, scalable to 150 kilowatts, developed by Lockheed Martin. It was the first permanent laser weapon on a destroyer and can integrate with the ship's advanced AEGIS radar and weapons control system. Helios has been one of the most promising laser weapons of the U.S. Navy. Recently, in 2024, the weapon successfully took out a drone from the deck of the Arleigh Burke class destroyer, USS Prebly, where it is deployed. The test was to verify and validate the functionality, performance, and capability of the weapon at a time when many laser weapons were being less than impressive. The Navy needed a reminder that it was on the right path with Helios. And it got it. Lockheed Martin is contracted to deliver at least one more Helios system for an Arleigh Burke destroyer. Moving on, there is also the 300-kilowatt high-energy laser counter ASCM program, or H-E-L-C-I-O-P for short. Finally, we have a 1-megawatt laser capable of downing everything from killer drones to cruise missiles. The contract to develop this weapon was issued in 2022 to Northrop Grumman. In theory, laser weapons can take out whatever target, as long as there's enough power to feed them and create the most powerful laser beams. And what better source of unlimited power than the nuclear power stations on USS Gerald Ford? Two Bechtel A1B nuclear reactors, the most cutting-edge engines created for use by aircraft carriers, power the USS Gerald Ford. As a result, the carrier produces a hefty 300 megawatts of power, almost three times more than the next best thing. That's a lot of power on this one ship. Laser weapons will be well-fed. In addition to the laser weapons, however, the USS Ford is armed with two Mark 29 guided missile launchers and two Mark 49 guided missile launchers to launch surface-to-air missiles and eliminate targets from miles away. Three Phalanx close-in weapon systems, four MK-38 25mm machine guns, and four M2.50 caliber machine guns, all designed to make honeycombs of their targets. This is the arsenal China's Type 003 Fujin is up against. In an increasingly tense world, where peaceful mornings can easily be followed by conflict evenings, rivals are sharpening their swords, loading their rifles, testing their directed energy weapons, and unanchoring their warships. In the blink of an eye, China and the United States could aim all of these at one another, ready to begin World War III. To follow all of these closely, give this video a like and subscribe to this channel now. Thanks for watching.